To install EEB on one or multiple appliances, the very step you need to do is to upload the EEB file into the EMS repository. So here's the repository button. So go to our repository and click Add. Just like adding any other file, you can upload a package to here. So in this demo, I have already uploaded my EEB. So we can go back to the dashboard and select the appliances that we want to install that EEB to. So make sure you are selecting appliances running on the same version at a time because EEB packages are usually developed for a certain appliance version. So these two appliances are the one I want to act upon. So you can now go to Manage and click Install EEB or Add-on. So in our first screen, you will like to confirm the appliances that you selected. And you can actually expand each of them to see if any of the EB have been installed. So for these two examples, we don't actually have any active EBs running on. Okay, so moving to the next screen, you will see a list of the EBs that's applicable to this appliance version. And you will select the one you're targeting and move on. It shows the README file. So in here, you can find more details about the installation process, things like um, service state. Uh, in some cases, the NetBack of Services needs to reboot during the process, and that will handled by AMS automatically. And in this case, it says all NetBack of Services can remain running, so we don't need to worry about it. Then we go to the next screen, and we will confirm there will be two tasks running at the same time because we're installing this EEB onto two appliances. And now we can start install. So now you can see we are directed to the activity monitor automatically. And there are two tasks running here. And you can monitor the state of both of them and expand each of them to see the details of the progress. It takes a few minutes for both tasks to complete, and you can see the status is shown as successful. If it failed, you can expand uh, one of this item and check the details of the installation process to help the troubleshooting.